All right, looking live at Lot J in downtown Jacksonville tonight, one day after announcing that this area could be transformed into a new entertainment district, and we're learning what it would cost all of us in tax dollars and incentives. Mayor Lenny Curry from Jacksonville just spoke to News for Jackson about this project, and right now, Jim Pickett joining us live from the stadium. Jim, is this going to happen, or is it just a, another dream, one of those false starts that we've seen over the years? You know, Kent, that is the first question that I asked the mayor about this when we sat down with him today. Is this going to be happening here, or is it going to be like the shipyard projects that we've just seen fade away? So, yeah, I expect uh, shovels to be in the ground, and uh, hopefully it's late January because that means our team has been running the playoffs. And, and that would just be the Hart Expressway removal? Hart, or... Hart Expressway and Lot J. And Lot J. Yeah, so start time. bringing down Hart Expressway and begin the project which in again lot j is live entertainment which the city will own the facility will pay half uh shod's company iguana will pay half we will lease that back to them just like we do the amphitheater they will take ownership of the other three vertical buildings they will pay property taxes on those buildings and those property taxes will be part of the incentive package that will go back into the infrastructure and development Lots of information there. This is the term sheet that the mayor was talking about. It spells out everything. In the end, the city is going to give about $230 million in tax incentives and other perks that could go to the project out here. Here's what we're going to see happen. The plan is to turn this parking lot into this. Another entertainment complex known as Live. This is video from the Cornish companies which worked out the deal with the city and the Jags. There are live venues like this across the country in places like Kansas City and Baltimore, which is a stage with several levels of bars and restaurants, similar to the landing during its heyday. To make that happen here, the mayor is proposing to pay up to $50 million, half of the total cost to build it making it the third entertainment venue at the sports complex with the arena and amphitheater. The mayor is also offering $25 million in revenue grants, which would not have to be repaid as long as a residential tower, a boutique hotel, and office tower is built on the site. The city would also provide over $92 million in infrastructure improvements, which includes environmental cleanup of the land. This idea sounds promising to many people at the stadium today, but some have concerns about taking away parking. I think it'd be okay. Be no problem. As long as there's places to park for the people, because that's a big deal. The mayor agrees that's why part of the plan requires 1,300 parking spaces, which is the same number that's already there. It includes 700 space parking lot and 600 spaces near the hotel and residential area. I want you to take a close look at the rendering here that they sent. And you can see Lot J there, but you can see this also extends to the other part, over to Metropolitan Park. I asked the mayor about that today, and he says, well, that's down the line. Those are future plans. Their main focus right now is the vertical structures that they're going to put here and that live venue. And again, he says we could begin to see construction on the buildings in January. We're live from the stadium, Jim Pig at Channel 4, the local station.